Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for the 2022 NBA playoffs on Monday, April 18th, 2022. We're going to have NBA spreads, player props, over-unders here for you today. We're going to have three picks that I think are great value bets for this Monday NBA slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. As always, just want to say that I appreciate you all here at the channel. Reminder with the channel, we are now partnered with Prize Picks. So use our code SFP or our link that we have down below in the comment section or the description for a 100% deposit match on your first deposit up to $100. Uh, reminder, use our code SFP or the link down below in the comment section. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well, guys. It's a great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description of that as well. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below for today's action down in the comment section as well. If you'd like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Normally I give a shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs, but you'll see we're on a we're at a different location, so I'm doing things by route of the mobile today. Uh, should be back to normal tomorrow. I've been having some issues with my computer. It's just been a hectic week, guys. I uh, just had a graphics card installed, so hopefully we'll be back up and running at a normal setup tomorrow is what I'm hoping. Uh, but I can I can never guarantee these things anymore. All right, let's get right into the results, though, from the previous episode. So for our comment cappers, we had Cree Money 78 calling the Pascal Siakam over 4.5 assists. He cashes there with 7, so love to see that. As far as our stream results, it was a tough day at the office, guys. We ended up going 1-3. and three. Uh, The only one that we were able to cash was the Jeff Green under 9.5 points. He ends up finishing the game with 7. We missed on the Reggie Bullock. Uh, rebounds under four and a half rebounds he finishes with six and it was nasty guys because a, a bunch of the rebounds that he got got were off deflections like rebounds he shouldn't have gotten that just fell on his lap and it was like ugh, he wasn't in rebounding position at all but not a lot we could do about that we missed on the raptors plus four and a half spread they got absolutely dominated obviously lost scotty barnes in that game to injury as well uh, so obviously that was not good and then we missed on D'Angelo Russell, over 26.5 points and assists. Um, he ended up getting there with assists. He had like nine assists. Um, but shot like two for 11 from the floor. Didn't play, you know, his normal amount of minutes. Got foul trouble early. It was just a nasty day, guys. So we did go one and three. Uh, but we're going to get after it today, though, guys. We're going to get this 3-0. and oh, Four or three. Got to make up my mind. We're going to get this 3-0 oh sweep. So let's get right into our picks today. At number one. We're going right back to Jeff Green, under 8.5 points at minus 110 odds. So I still love this bet at 8.5, guys. We're going with what works. So obviously we cashed. This is the only one that we cashed on Saturday. Uh, so we're going right back to here with Jeff Green. The numbers are the exact same as far as the trends. He has gone under in five of the last seven games overall. He's gone under in three of the last five versus the Golden State Warriors. But all three that he went under were all three in Golden State, which is where this game will be. Um... So we know that the Warriors are fairly healthy right now, getting their players back. So I expect the defense to be very good like it was uh, the other night that they played the Nuggets. And particularly, you know, Jeff Green only shot the ball three times. You know, he finished with seven points. He was two out of three from uh, three-point range, I believe. Uh, but he only shot the ball three times. Um, so, you know, if that happens again, I think he might even have less than seven points, to be honest with you. Um, you know, he obviously shot a good percentage, and he got played off the floor like I kind of thought he would. Now, he only played 23 minutes in that game. And that's the type of thing that can happen with him. If you look at his minutes log over the last eight games, I'll read it to you here, guys. 23, 24, 27, 18, 21. Did have one game where he played 32 minutes, 20, and 23. So the dude does not have a very high minute count at all or a very high usage rate. So I love that, obviously. This is a pretty tight under. You know, it's like I don't love taking unders out of this low typically, but like I said, the degree of success uh, that he's had to the under, and the fact that we just cashed it the other day, too, also helps. So we're going to run it back on him here. I have faith. I love that he only shot the ball three times. That's the type of stuff I like to see. Um, and on the season, guys, Warriors defend power forwards very well, right? They're allowing the second fewest points in the NBA to power forward. So obviously we'd love to see that. And then Jeff Green goes under again here today. Uh, again, it's a tough matchup. He's not the guy that's going to be taking shots. We saw that in game one. Only three shots. If that happens again, obviously, I believe we're going to cash again. So, love it, guys. There are four number one pick. Jeff Green, under eight and a half points here for the uh, Denver Nuggets at minus 110 odds. Okay, and at number two, 
We're going Joel Embiid under 32.5 points here at minus 106 odds. This line's just up a little bit too high, especially for the matchup here with the Raptors, who are allowing the fourth fewest points to centers on the season. You know, Siakam's still going to be healthy for this game. So um, I expect, you know, the Raptors to still run doubles at him, despite Maxi having a huge game. Obviously, got to respect him and James Harden, obviously. But Joel Embiid, everybody knows, is their centerpiece. So um, the Raptors still should be, you know, looking to obviously contain him with doubles and such. I mean, you still have to. Uh, and if Maxi beats you, Maxi beats you. I think that's just the way it has to be. Uh, you kind of have to pick and choose. Obviously, I'm not going to let Embiid go solo with someone at this point. Now, Embiid has gone under in nine of his last ten games versus the Raptors, so we love that. He's gone under in eight out of his last 13 overall as well, so we love that. And he's also five out of six in his last six games to the under in the playoffs as well. So, obviously, the playoffs tighten up. You know, defenses get better in the playoffs because, you know, the roughs tend to let more physical play go. So, you know, they're not going to give Joel Embiid as many of those tack calls that he's used to getting uh, to get to the foul line as much as he normally does. Um, so he went to the foul line, yeah, 11 free throw attempts last game. Um, you know, I, I think overall, though, they're not going to give him the tacky calls like he got throughout the whole season, which is so annoying to watch. Uh, so and that's where a lot of his production comes from. So if they kind of take that away, he only had 19 points uh, last game versus the Raptors. And honestly, in this game, with the injuries that the Raptors have on the perimeter to Trent Jr. and now to Barnes at power forward, I can see this being a blowout again. Uh, obviously, so Embiid can get limited as far as that way. He still played, you know, 37 minutes in Game One despite the blowout. So, and he still only had just 19 points, which is honestly I love seeing that. I love that he played such a high minute count and still hit this under very comfortably. Um, now he is averaging 29.1 points per game at home uh, versus 32 on the road. So we like to see that as well. Uh, he's averaging less at home. And like I said, there is blowout potential for this game. So love it there for number two pick, guys. Joel Embiid under 32.5 points for the 76ers at minus 106 odds. Okay, and finally at number three, we are going with the Dallas Mavericks plus six spread here versus the Utah Jazz at minus 114 odds. So guys, the Mavericks are 5-0-1 five, five, in the last six games against the spread versus the Utah Jazz to this plus six against the spread, I should say. Um, obviously, game one was 99-93 to 93 Jazz winning, so that was our one split there. Uh, but I think the Mavericks here will have a response here in game two. Um, and at least keep this game close, if nothing else. And I honestly think the Mavericks will actually end up winning this game. Um, I don't have a lot of trust in the Jazz, despite the fact that they did win game one. But overall, guys, the Jazz had a very rocky end of the season. And I still think some of that energy is still carrying over. Now, they did, like I said, they did turn it up in the second half there at game one. Uh, but like I said, I think the Mavericks have to have a game, have to have a response here in game two. They're going to be desperate. They really need this game. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking at here. And the Mavs really play the Jazz well, right? Like I said, 5 0 and 1, last six against the spread to the plus six. And a couple of those were without Doncic. Obviously, remember the game back in December that they played in Utah without Doncic, 120 to 116. The Jazz won. That was without Doncic again. Um, again, in game one, they didn't have them. Only lost by six. And really, they played pretty well most of the game. Like I said, their defense hasn't suffered without Doncic on the floor. Uh, they still are 10th uh, in defensive rating over the last 10 games. The Jazz are 13th in defensive rating in the last 10 games. Mavs are 2nd in offensive rating also in the last 10. And the Jazz are 13th in offensive rating in the last 10. Now, obviously, a lot of those games came with Doncic. Uh, so you got to consider those things. Obviously, the Mavericks do suffer offensively without Doncic, but I still think it's enough here to keep this game close. And um, I think the Mavericks will have a cover here for us. Jazz on the season, not a good uh, road spread team at all. 17-24-1 on the road against the spread. Mavericks 23-17-2 against the spread at home. So we like to see that. And I think this is just too many points for the home team. Give me the home team here, plus six. Love it there for number three pick. Dallas Mavericks plus six spread here versus the Utah Jazz. And minus 114 odds. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. Like I said, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Appreciate you all here at the channel and your support. Appreciate your patience as well. I know it's been kind of a weird week. I've said it a lot of times. Uh, but just had a bunch of stuff going on this week. Uh, and even with the computer. So uh, hopefully we'll have that back up and running by tomorrow is my hope. Um, so... Looking forward to that. Like I said, I do appreciate you all here at the channel. Check out all our social media links as well, guys. Uh, Twitter, Instagram. We'll have all those links down below in the comment section where you can, uh, you know, all the links that we do have. Like I said, check out our prize picks link as well if you guys are interested in a 
percent deposit on your first deposit up to $100. Like I said, these are code SFP or use the link down below. Um, you can also become a straight fire MVP as well. We'll have a link for that down below or a join button down below where you can check that out. Normally I'd have a shout out for you guys um, at our normal setup. We don't have any graphics today. So uh, like I said, appreciate y'all. I hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Let's cash your bets as well. Let's get this 3-0. I hope y'all have a great rest of the day and we will see y'all tomorrow. Peace out.